Latino. So I said before that normally traffic isn't really much of an issue for us here in Florida, at least for where we live. And, um, or maybe not. Do they just pull over into the parking lot? I think the blue light's pulled over. Yeah, the cops would turn it in the parking lot. They're like, this is the most traffic that we really oh, stop damn. experience. Um, you know where that is? That's that hotel that I'm pretty sure is the one that. Um, the Village Inn, I think that's what it's called. You see the tag, the sticker on their window? Uh uh. It said, not everybody here is on vacation. Oh, yeah, because there are locals. But I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong, but that looked like where they were pulling into. Let's see where they went. Those guys running from, maybe? Oh, maybe that's why they were oh. here, because of whatever oh, this okay. is. Oh, somebody hit. Okay. Maybe? Somebody hit it? Yeah, that's what it looked like. I mean, the fire hydrant was, like, over. That was the most traffic. That was the most traffic. Normally, if you weren't here, I'm pulling differently and put that side up again so oh. I would have gone there but this is your dedicated spot for simple and easy unloading and then immediate cart return is that how it works so you can't back in at sam's club or costco because then you can't open up the the tailgate the back the whatever but i always park next to a cart return so i can just push and go instead of having to leave yeah. I guess I should have brought the Squirrel Tribe hat. Well, that's what I had on was the white Squirrel Tribe one, but... Well, there's a black one, too. Oh, yeah. But if you had a Tesla, you could park anywhere you want and then just use the app to make it move out of the parking spot and then you can get to the back. <laughs> I don't trust that. New blue. Who this? <laughs> what color do you think this is? Or colors? Electric blue and gray. Oh, you got two grays. Is it agreeable? No. Well, the darker color at the bottom is probably more like seal skin, and the one above it's probably, I don't remember the name of it, but the blue is literally electric blue. Uh -huh. Poor y'all. Just trying to get around to grab it. We got the the wiggly wheel. Oh, she knew it too. She knew it. She's like taking one. She pawned it off on you. Where did I take that one? Well, let's go find out because Tiano dropped the 70 inch TV. So that's a 75, 75, 75. These are all 75s. The flip side, go around the edge. It might work its way back up. 55. These are all too small. She says they work their way up. Look at these TVs. They're not getting that. Look. That is bigger than that, clearly. 65. See? 65. 65. There's no 70. It's 65 or 75. She's not helping. Did you just run into the TV? Did you just crash into the TV? <laughs> I was looking right and got distracted. Female driver. All right. What's the cheapest 75 minutes TV we can find here? Maybe like 649, so I'm gonna send this to Tiana. I sent him this picture because he was helping a friend uh, hang a TV and they, and he didn't drop it, but it fell first while they were hanging it. First things first, I go to the restroom and get that out of the way. And I spend an hour running and through this direction because they always try to stop you and sell you cell phones. Oh yeah, so I started doing the work on the way back over. <laughs> Gotta go in circles. Six forty nine or six forty eight? I was seriously confused about what that was, but I guess it's an elevator for like wheelchairs or something. I was like, but where's it go? Oh, I can see the exit up there. Yeah. I'm guessing there's offices back yeah, there. I guess so. I look doofy in this hat, but it's good for when the windows are down in the Jeep. No, take this one, take the other one. I know what's happening. Take this one. Okay. Let's go back this one. Not do my normal routine. Oh, I want to show you the pop, the smart food. 
You're gonna show me, but we gotta go this way. We gotta zigzag. Okay, so you go, you come in to Sam's Club, then you go immediately to the bathroom, and then you have a and route. And I do this section, then I cross over and do that side, then I cross over and do this side, then I do the cold stuff. If you do the cold stuff first, and then you get distracted by everything else, now you have less cold stuff. <laughs> and it's like a 30 minute drive home, so it needs to stay cold. All right, so I don't think it's worth it. Five blades and a metal handle, which means it gets hot in the shower and heavy. Three blades, plastic handle, $30, $36. 11 count, well, you can't really show it. Scan and go. Scan and go. All right, so I'm in my scan and go. Added it to my cart. There we go. Hot cocoa popcorn. That's yeah, great. but this one's in comparison to what we saw at Walmart. Uh huh. So the Walmart one is literally a, it's a third smaller size. bag. Oh yeah, much smaller bag. Yeah. This bag is huge. It is huge, and this one doesn't have a price on the side. So this is specifically only for Sam's, Sam's Club. Club, maybe. Yeah. Well, that size, yeah. You won't find that size anywhere else. How do you think this compares? Six forty eight. Well, we paid three forty eight for the And do they the charge a premium bag. because it's Dorito Nacho Cheese? Probably. But we paid three forty eight or three ninety eight, three ninety eight at Walmart for the small bag. And the listed price on it was five nineteen. So for a dollar thirty more you get literally twice as much. It only seems pretty cool. It is, yeah. They don't give you all that fluffy air while we're here. Well at these places. Oh, that's what I need. The pretzels, that's the, one of the main things I wanted. Okay. Either it's the Doritos or the regular. Okay. Just so you're all fully aware. Your mother did this to me. She brought them over to your brother's house for Christmas and I am freaking addicted now. These bags are so like eye-catching. These vivid colors. Rice flour, sunflower oil, dried peas. You gotta train them young. Get them excited about cleaning. The cleaning playset. Look, I am happy that there's a boy on there so boys understand that cleaning is not only a girl's responsibility. You think he's gonna show his feet? The uh, robot. Oh yeah. So it cleans the floor. Okay. So the the this? robot cleans the floor uh -huh. and scans the sh and scans the inventory to make sure that there's enough stuff on the. It shelf. scans the inventory. Yeah. Look, look how lazy this is. Instead of pouring it in your cup and shaking it up yourself, you can pay three hundred dollars to have a machine make your martinis. So it's not even cleaning right now, it's just scanning. Mm, it's just scanning. I was about to say, normally you'd have like a little line behind it where it drag. The claw. The claw. <laughs> Do I need it? No. Am I interested? Yes. Are you going to get it? No. I can't hear this song and not think about a certain movie. Do you know what movie it is? Uh-uh. Should I? Yeah. You can have any beer you want, as long as it's a Corona. She doesn't know what movie it's from. Oh, well, she does now, I told her. You told me, but... It's called Strange Love, Depeche Mode. But you didn't know. I, what part of the movie is it from? All right, if Games and Roses is watching, he'll understand, but okay. I'm gonna give you a pass because read that right there. This one? I bought the Fast and the Furious soundtrack because the 13th track, Life Ain't a Game by Ja Rule, it's a sample of Depeche Mode, is very catchy. Oh, a sample. So then. So I hear that beat. Yes. I, I always think about Fast and Furious. Okay, but that's aesthetically Ja Rule. Rule. That's why. And guys, I gotta show you something. When you see these prices, you're gonna be absolutely floored. Every company's going through something. That's true. But he's been fine. I think it was more of a separation anxiety. I agree. So we're gonna go with the same food. Yeah. Do you get it here? No. Oh, okay. That's what I was asking. What is this thing? For cats. Oh. Okay. Gamma Vault. Oh, it's just a pet food container. Oh. Mm. He has something, but every time we give him a new treat, it like then he goes poop. But he's good. He don't have. He don't need no treats. All right. What do I need? What do I need? Hold on. 
So Sam's Club is not somewhere you go when you're looking for extreme variety and selection. Yeah. Like I wouldn't come here to buy a broom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in certain places you need to go to Walmart or Target. Maybe Walmart. Target selection is not that great either. Depends. Maybe Home Depot would have a better broom selection. I would say probably Home Depot. I buy the big one and I just keep refilling my little squeeze bottle at home because it makes way more sense than buying new squeeze bottles every single time. Shouldn't <laughs> it make noise to make it feel like you're doing something? <laughs> I guess maybe. Shiny. This is where I get all my towels, the beach towels. Ten bucks for those massive towels. Okay. Would you like walking through here looking at everything? Do you need more socks? These aren't your brand. So. No, but I did find a set of underwear that I, that the quartering sponsored, the sponsored video, and it's called Sheath. And it's got a separate little pouch to put your stuff, your gentleman sausage in. Well, they have those on on uh, line too. Do you need any undershirts or anything? Because these are probably ten dollars cheaper than at Walmart. What now? I, I would much rather get you the organic dark roast because you like dark calls anyway. 28 bucks versus like the McDonald's one down there. Yeah, you get more pods. Actually, you don't. You only get 94. With the organic, you get 100. And it's like, what, $12 more just because it says McDonald's? And it's ba -da -ba -ba -ba. not organic? <laughs> not buying it. <laughs> no. Nope. I thought it was fine. It's going to be here all week, week, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The water. Zero sugar Dr. Pepper just sounds like absolute trash. They sound like what does it taste like? M more trash. More trashier than not. I don't buy drinks based on how they sound. <laughs> what if it said um, <laughs> orgasm in a can? <laughs> Would you buy it then? Because <laughs> it sounds like it might be a good drink. Oops. Oh, good question. All right, let's go this way. Like the waffles when I make them with this or no? No. Okay, then we will go back to buying the ones you do love. Do not spend all this extra money on those. I will eat anything, I don't care. It was just worth a shot to see if we could do it ourselves, but. What, what is not, not good about them? The, the effort that goes into making them oh, and every, like it's, it's a lot, it's, it's a big production. Yeah, you can see the light, he's scanning the products. AI in action. We don't have the uh, Quaker Oats bars anymore uh, due to repo. So instead they doubled up on Nutri-Grain and they're so good. But there's a lot of sugar in them and I don't need them. But they taste good. And then we get them through their side. The downside here is at Costco I can get organic black beans here. There's nothing organic, so that's a crappy part about Sam's Club. Then we gotta look around the corner because people will run you over. The organic, remember I was telling you, Compared to the one at Walmart, this is organic for $18. Got the organic one for $18, which I think I still have some. That massive one to your left is still almost, probably not twice the size of the one at Walmart, and it's still cheaper. So Walmart's not always the cheapest. That's what it is. They have them in the frozen section too, pre-made, so you can just stick them into the oven, or you can get the mix and make it yourself. You don't understand the internal 
struggle I have every time I walk by those where I'm like, don't, just don't do it, don't do it. I can taste them right now. I know, so can I. That's why I'm now completely drooling. I'd rather eat, get those than go to Red Lobster though. Yeah, same. Stuff here, what do I need? Um, organic cinnamon, green leaf garlic. Uh huh. What was that noise? I don't know. It's only bad Santa back there. Yeah, there's a lot of weird grunting. I have one in the back of the Jeep already, so I figured I'd just get one more right now. When you see like the deal guy and um, whoever else do their thing, I think they go in and record before the store opens. So M Michelle has a theory about people on their cell phones driving, and it uh, seems to translate to shopping carts too. Where you just leave a shopping cart right in the middle of the entrance, but not just in the middle of the entrance, but with your purse wide open too. No point in time should you just leave your cart like that. I mean, that's basically the equivalent of leaving your child it just, I, I will never understand that. So the downside here is I can get organic cage free, which is what I want, but I want organic pasture raised. They have pasture raised, but they're not organic. They have organic, but they're not pasture raised. You need to start your own farm. Uh-huh. I gotta get out of here. My nipples are getting hard. They had two organic things, so I was able to get my organic green beans, and for the first time, they have my organic blueberries. Normally, I get these at Whole Foods, so I'm excited about that. These never are organic, but these are really tasty. Non-GMO, better than nothing. I feel like everybody knows who this is. Maybe they don't, but let me show you. So Tabitha Brown. I don't know if anybody knows who Tabitha Brown is. I used to see her on Instagram and she is just like the most happy, upbeat person I've ever seen in my entire life. Like if you're having a crappy day, I would watch her and she's just so incredibly joyful, I guess is the right word. But she would make a lot of vegan, this is when I was vegan. She'd make a lot of vegan things and she went from being an actress to basically a chef, if you will. But she's just, I don't know, I like her. I can't get this because it's got ginger in it and that'll make me poop, so we're gonna put that back. But I wanted y'all to know about Tap of the Brown. All right, we're good. So now we pay and go. Continue to check out. Confirm your shopping cart has 22 items, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We're gonna do it one day. One, two. Confirm. Continue to check out. Oh look, I have 5.96 in Sam's cash available, so go ahead and use that. I have now paid. I have my QR code available because it's all like, janky like the road is and I'm always always gonna break all my eggs. It's fine here in the beginning, but as you get towards the back, it gets super rough. We can do a test. We get eggs, we get a shopping cart, a rough parking lot. Let's see what it takes to break them. <laughs> Let's do some rigorous testing. We gotta use Walmart cheap eggs though, if they make them anymore. Oh, uh -huh. 
don't like how it rattles everything. Look, she just lost her thing. That's a lot of eggs. Yeah. Uh oh. To break. Oh man, she lost the sour cream. Yeah. I told you this parking lot is janky, like the, the ground is janky. It's moving around. I'm sure plenty of people lose a lot of stuff. You need to create like a Sam's Club parking lot. Do you see this though? Stabilizer. It's like an earthquake for your shop. You can place. make millions, make a stabilizer. How do you stabilize it? A bunch of gyros and some other. I can't stop this, so if he runs me over, it's gonna hurt pretty bad. <laughs> Okay. Well, maybe you should park closer next time. Okay. I need to set these in the back seat. There's two bags back there. There's a, a big bag and a little bag. I'll need to use them, but you can set them. I bought last time I was at Sam's Club and they got lost underneath all the water and everything else. Right, so, do that. You want to make room? I need to clean this Jeep out. Absolutely. How did it... That's all your birthday stuff and then everything else, I think the... Oh, you trying to keep the speaker clear. Yeah. Everything right oh. speaker. What? Well... I need to get this out of the way for now. You go there. These technically can go up here. We can kind of a deal. That's fine. And then. I need my bags. Do you mind bringing them? what I want to do with what. So, all right, the eggs will go down in that bag. So that can stay. But we will put cold stuff. I want to set this on the ground. Not about being able to zip the bag. I don't care if I can zip the bag. It's about being able to transport it later, not back seat in a floorboard, please. I'm hoping these fit. There's a very small chance, but I'm gonna try them and see what happens. Some other pants. These look comfy. Ta-da. That's that. Squirrel trap. 